Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about how to use empties inside Blender. I'm gonna show you three different ways that I normally use it on my everyday work. And so I wanted to share those with you. Stay tuned. All right, so let's talk about empties. Um, I have, I'm gonna show you a couple examples of um, real life scenarios that I have used them, but uh, let me give you some of the uh, very basics here. Um, again, I'm gonna show you three ways that I normally um, use the MT, but I think there's one way that I use it the most, and it's gonna be this very first one. So the first one is going to be for mirroring. And so I'm gonna create a cube here. I'm just gonna put it to the side and I'm gonna scale it up a little bit. I'm gonna change my uh, origin here to bounding box and I'm gonna create an empty so I'm gonna press shift a empty plane axis now you know empties are a non renderable object pretty much right so this won't be renderable you won't see it on the render but you can apply certain things to it that will make your life easier pretty much and so these are sort of like helpers for your scene and you can use them in many different ways right so on this case I'm gonna go to my cube grab my mirror modifier and on mirror object i'm going to use the empty instead of uh, the default here now i'm going to keep it on axis x because i'm going to mirror it on this side i can of course do for example if i move this a little bit do y as well and then i'll have four versions so now if i play with one so let's say i'm going to model a little bit here so i'm going to cut do some cuts here and grab some uh, faces here just to do some modeling, very simple modeling here. And then maybe I'll do a couple of cuts here and some extrusions and do a little bit of this. And right, so now um, everything that I'm doing to this one, I'm also doing it to the uh, to the other one here. Now, uh, you know, you can create um, many different effects like hallways and, and um, you know, sort of like uh, like pairs of columns that go into a distance and stuff like that uh, this way. Uh, but this is a great way um, to uh, to build and save a lot of time doing stuff that is going to be pro pretty much symmetric. Now, if I move this to the I'm going to put zero on my location Y here because I'm just wanting to do one mirror here for my X. Now I can, for example, start building here. So maybe I have a sort of like a wall here. And I'm sort of like building this wall. I'm just going to rotate this. And I'm doing this very crude and sort of fast and ugly, but just so you can see the power of the mirroring. I'm gonna add a uh, plane here for my floor here just so I can see a little bit better. Uh, but you can see that little by little I can start adding things to one side and then I, I can create a more complex object. Um, and so I'll, I'll show you some examples of what that looks like. So for example, uh, this is one of the kids that I recently released for, uh, for my store here. You can see how this when you can see this, you know, I have very multiple objects here, but I use the same concepts of, of uh, using the empty, which is here for my mirroring and creating more complex elements. And this is all using very simple um, pieces like singular items like this and just combining them and putting them together to create something a little bit more complex. And so this is another example of that same technique, just different design here likewise here and i use this for for many many different things for uh, hallways stairs you know railings and uh, doorways and stuff like that um let me show you another example here now this one in particular uh again this is from another of my kids uh, i'm layering a couple of the same technique right so uh, as you can see here i have uh, an empty here mirroring from this side to this side here Right. And um, uh, I'm also doing a another mirror. So I have an empty here in the middle where I'm also mirroring everything that it's in here 
into this other side. So I'm able to create this sort of um, uh, sort of hallway thing with uh, with that same technique. And another example here is uh, I'm using a couple of um, uh, 3D scan assets to create this sort of like vehicle. So you can see I have my empty in the center here. Um, you know, you don't have to have all the elements of the design mirror. But for example, everything here is mirror except this sort of like front uh, piece here that I have a little bit angle here just so I can break a little bit of the symmetry. Uh, but again, I don't need that to be uh, symmetric so I just I just don't have the modifier on these pieces but on the rest you know on all these pieces I have um, you know I have I'm using that same technique so you can see that that same technique you can use it for different uh, scenarios and and doing uh, a couple of different things now that's the first one you know I really really use that a lot and again you can sort of like layer it and combine it to create different effects uh, but the other use is um, for cameras. So for example, if I create a camera here, now this one got created a little bit on an angle, so I'm just gonna reset all my um, rotations here and I'm pressing Alt-R, but we can go just put zero, zero here, here. And I'm going to rotate 90 degrees just so we can have a straight on looking at this. And you know, if I, if I move this around, you can see that it's sort of like looking on the same spot, right? It's looking forward. Uh, but if I create an empty here, right? And I'm gonna create a very, very simple scene here. So I'm just gonna create a couple of very basic models here. So let's do a cube here. And we can do a sphere. Right click, shade smooth. I'm just going to put that to the side here. And I'm going to do lastly a cone. Something like that, right? Very simple scene. And I'm going to open a new editor here and I'm just going to look through my camera. So I'm going to press zero. And I am going to the properties just so we can see a little bit better and increase these. I'm going to delete or not delete hide the overlay just so we can see a very clean um uh, view here and this is my scene right so i'm gonna move the camera up and there so now if i wanted to do an animation where maybe i wanted to focus on one of these uh, elements or maybe you know the scene by itself right it's gonna be kind of tricky to always like if i if i want to move the camera this way but looking at to the scene, you know, have to deal with the rotation and the uh, and the uh, uh, the movement of the camera on the axis that is moving, and so it's going to be a little bit tricky. So one of the things that I could do is use an empty to constrain where the camera is looking. So if I go to the camera and I go to the constraint, I go to track two, and so now my target is going to be the empty. And so I'm not gonna be using the actual mesh, right? Because if I need to do something to the mesh or I need to move it or anything like that, then I, I lose control over that. So now with the empty, you know, I can move the empty, right? If I wanted to, but I can also anything that I do to the camera. So if I move it or, you know, pretty much move it because I can really rotate it because it's fixed on that empty. But if whatever I move it, it's always going to be looking at the at the empty here. And so now I can deal with just the animation here. And now I can easily keep control of where that camera is looking. Now, the cool thing is I can also animate the empty, right? And so I could have a separate animation for the camera, but I can also have a separate animation for the empty. And that way I can control and combine that effect and so um, there's a lot of possibilities to um to working with that so that's the uh, second um option there now the third one uh i use it in combined with the first one that i show you and this is going to be for uh parenting and so if i have multiple objects right so maybe i have a I have this and maybe I have a sphere again and I'm going to duplicate this and 
Just do something that doesn't make sense right now here. And I'm going to do a cone here. Be like that, right? Let's have multiple objects, right? And I want them to, you know, I, I sort of created these as a group. You know, this is like one element um, that is, you know, that has all these little different, you know, elements in it. But I want them to me to be able to move them and and place them as a unit, as one. So instead of, you know, I have the option of making them one object. So Control J. Now this is all one object, right? But the problem is that if I wanted to edit this, I need to go into edit mode and separate it, or um, you know, work on it on edit mode. So it could become a little bit. Um, uh, problematic sometimes, especially if you have a lot of um, of objects. And so um, that's really not an option that I want to do for this. So what I can do is create an empty. I make this pretty big here, just so it's bigger than everything here. And I'm going to select everything. And I want to make sure that the empty is my active object. And so I'm, I'm, I'm selecting it last. And then I go Control P for parenting and then set parent to object. So now every object that is selected is parented to my active object, which is the empty. And so now I don't need to worry about uh, selecting all the little pieces, right? I can select the empty, move it around, right? I can animate it, I can, you know, rotate it, I can snap it to things, whatever really I need to do in order to, um, to, um, to move this whole thing as a unit. And I use that quite a lot to, um, you know, when I do stuff like this, when I'm creating, you know, a piece that contains multiple pieces, right? So if I select this empty here, you know, I can move this around very easily. And this has, you know, so many, you know, little pieces that is making this big piece. Um, and but I can control it better and place it with just, you know, this one empty. And so it's easier for me to, um, to deal with. And if I wanted to, um, you know, move this to over here. I can snap that empty into a particular um, a particular place, and then it will snap everything together because it's parented to the empty here. And so, those are the three main uses that I that I use the uh, uh, the empties. I think there's they're super powerful. I think um, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that you can play with. Um, to create cool effects and, and all that. Uh, but I just wanted to share, um, you know, those, those uses because I, I do use them a lot, all right? All right, guys, so that's it for today's episode. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys learned something new. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you're interested in the Patreon and you want to support me that way, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.